Pertrand Studios here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another Minecraft video, and I'm going to make a series out of this because I just think it's going to be so much fun, and you guys wanted to see more Minecraft, so this is what we're going, so let's start off with this video, and I actually, I created a new world and built an entirely new barn, which I think is the best building I have ever built in Minecraft. So let's just get going. So over here we have my little tent that I've been staying in because I just finished my house um, a few days ago, but I still have not done the, like, added anything inside of my house, so it's just, like, empty. Over here I also have a place where if I like right over here real if I need to right over here real quick before I'm supposed or I have to bring a horse over here or something then I they will be staying here for a little bit while I am inside doing whatever I need to do before a trail ride or something and then if we follow this path that I made, I haven't added any lightings yet, any light lights for this path yet, but I should be doing that soon. Let me know if you want me to do a video on my interior design for my house. Um, but yeah, we're going to start with the inside of the barn. It is huge. This barn took days to build days upon days it is huge um so let's just go in here we have four wash bays we have one over here one here here and here and then across from there we have the first horse to be boarded at the barn which has no name nothing of that i'll explain to you about that later after the barn tour um, we have stalls going across this entire thing, um, we have small water troughs, we just have a bunch of stalls here, it's just basically a whole bunch of stalls along here. I actually don't know how many stalls there are, I never counted them. But over here, we have a little bit of a different setup for the stalls. We have them a bit longer and a bit smaller, actually. Um, those are for, like, the, I guess, like, the short, just, like, only going to be here for, like, a week or two. And the ones, I guess, these are for the stalls that are basically, I'd say these are for the horses that mainly are going to be in the pasture. Um, but, like, show horses that are going to be, like, stuck in their stalls for a little bit on, like, rainy days and stuff like that. But those are for, like, if they get dirty, then so what? We don't have a show next week. We don't have a show soon, so, uh, yeah. But over here, we have where I keep my hay for all the horses. Um... And then in here we have saddles, lead ropes, which I did, I was leading a horse around earlier. Um, we have blankets in here, one of like almost every color. And then we also have my treats. We have some for humans and we have some of, like for me treats. And then we also have apples and some berries maybe for the horses um but yeah but i'm going to be getting oh wait i'm gonna need that lead rope um i'm going to be getting this horse this white horse well this gray horse over here out and i'm going to be showing you the arena once i get her once i get this gray all tacked up I'm going to bring her 
him or her this gray over to this wash bay um and since we don't have any brushes in minecraft i'm basically just going to be saddling her up and that's it um so yeah let me get her saddle on her perfect now let's take her or him well let's take this gray let's take it to the arena it'll all exp i'll explain it all to you guys later why i'm going to be calling it it for now but it's a really good reason um so this is the indoor arena i haven't made an outdoor arena quite yet but it is definitely something on my to-do list um i think it looks great the lighting here on the roof that i did also adds some really nice sand textures colors here but let's hop on her well it let's hop on it um i added little windows well they don't have any glass in them but they're just like little spacers here so you can see outside it also adds some natural sunlight you can also see my house and that tent will be gone soon hopefully so we're just exercising it a little bit um i think i'm going to take her saddle well it's a saddle off of it and then that way it can stay in here for a little bit while i show you the rest of the while i show you guys the rest of the barn well barn's done I, I showed you all the barn but like the rest of the side things the pastures so for the pastures i added the fenced in area along here just in case a horse got out of a pasture they'd have got out of like a fence being left open or something they wouldn't be able to like run away unless they jumped the fence um but yeah over here we have the mare's pasture i haven't uh, i'm going to be adding like a small like lake thing over here maybe just so they have some so they have some water in the pasture i tried doing the same thing that i did in the stalls for the pasture with the water but it didn't work out very well so i did the hay that way so they have some hay this is going to be the mare's pasture um and then over there is going to be the gelding and stallion pasture uh, pasture um And I planted some flowers along here just because I just thought it would be a nice touch. That way it's just super pretty. Um, and then if we walk along here, we can get easily to the stallion slash gelding past pa pasture. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say pasture today. Um, but if we have some hay here as well for a bay geldings and stallions um and they're quite big too so they should have plenty of time plenty of space to run around right now i'm in creative since i still have a bunch of well i still have a lot of building to do and i don't know if i'll be filming some building some building things soon so i'm just gonna stay in creative so i don't have to come back to to creative from survival so that's the entire barn um i showed you my house a little bit but this is going this is the barn from an outlook from an over above it is very big and you can just barely see my house in the rendered instance you can see half of it um, but if we go back down here, if we go back down here, I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm why I was calling that horse it. 
Well, that is going to be the first of many different, um, many different horses that you guys are going to be owning. So, so this horse in here, you are, you are going to be commenting in the comments what breed you want for it, name, stallion, gelding, or mare it is, whichever one, um, what its discipline is, also what color blanket you want, um, I don't know, I guess I'm going to just be naming these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. So it'll start from one here and twenty seven over here. So just tell me in the comments, say blanket, and then the number between one and twenty seven. And that will be your specific blanket. Um, I'm not going, I don't know if I can recreate these colors for these blankets, to be honest, because it was basically just like putting things, to, putting colors together, except for the main colors, which would be, which would stop around here, which would stop around here, actually. So those are going, those I will probably be adding back in but do one two three or just one to 27 a number between there and you will be able to see and that will be your horses well that horse is, that white gray horse over there that will be that gray's blanket um and for its stall it'll go it'll just stay in this first one over here and i will put all of its discipline and everything over here i'll also be putting another reminder at the end of this video but let's put this let's put this gray horse back in its stall that way it doesn't stay in the arena for it doesn't stay in the arena because i do need to freshen up this and i do need to do like a bit of something to make it a lot lighter in here and while i'm doing that i want her and her about well, it and its own but i think i'm going to do that later um but for right now that is going this is that's going to be the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this minecraft video i know that it wasn't really too exciting or important really i just wanted to do another minecraft video to tell you guys what i'm going to be doing in minecraft what my plans are for videos in the future maybe i'll do a role playing game a role playing one but that would be kind of difficult since i would be doing it just myself and it would be a little difficult but i'll have to figure that out i'll see you all in my next video bye guys